you see my bedroom, it's covered with pictures from Iraq, you know, stuff I bought from the vendors in Baghdad, uh, just, every, you know, my old uniforms, uh, dirty magazine pouch that I had, I mean, gloves, you know, I pick up, I, I pick up my, my boonie cap, that's just covered in sweat, and I just, you know, you smell it like an old baseball cap, and it, I mean, it just takes you right back, like, I feel, I feel like I have more in common with my boonie cap than I do with every kid at my school here, you know. That thing's been with me th with me through more stuff than any of, the, any of these people will ever. So um, that's a big, I think that's, that's really a big part of it. I think the other thing why, why I miss, why I miss Iraq so much is I was important over there. I, I had a mission to do every single day. And if I didn't, if I woke up two minutes late at, on any given day, stuff would go wrong and potentially people could die. I mean, that might be a little far-fetched in, in most circumstances, but yeah, it, I think a lot of people can relate to that. We, I had a job to do every single day. I was in charge of a lot of people. I, I was uh, signed for you know, millions of dollars worth of equipment. I was given one directive to go from point A to point B or get, this, get these supplies from point A to point B. And uh, that's it. It's the, the the rest was on me to figure out. I know I'm going to take contact in these spots. I know this is how we're gonna we're gonna bypass, or I know this is how we're gonna fight through. I know how to allocate my resources. I mean, I, I it's just weird. And it, uh, I'm a 26 year old kid, and one day I'm in school, and the next day I have this 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 awesome responsibility, and you adapt to it and you get used to it. And uh, we did a lot of good. I I went to sleep every night, whether it be in, in, in Baghdad or Tikrit or uh, Nazaria, wherever, wherever we ended up that night in Iraq, uh, I laid down exhausted and uh, with the, the most amazing sense of accomplishment uh, that I don't think that I'll ever find anywhere else. I, I did something. I can look back. I can, I, you know, I have, not only do I have my 30 men sleeping in the tent with me that are all still breathing, which is my number one goal, but I, I've 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 accomplished this 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 awesome task, and then that's that's what I struggle with as a civilian now. I'm just I'm not Staff Sergeant Houseman. I'm I'm Kyle, and I'm a student just like everybody else. And if I don't wake up on time, it's no big deal. And if I don't go to if I drop out of school, it's also no big deal. And I don't know I. It's, I, I think that's where a lot of depression comes from, is you, you quickly realize that you're just another, you're just another person out there in a sea of them, and uh, the military, from the greenest private to the most seasoned command sergeant major, everybody has a purpose and a task, and, and, uh, and we all recognize that and respect that, and we're stronger for it. Don't have that in the civilian sector. Still working on how to deal with that.